This is a tutorial on the current balance equipment. Here we have the current balance with its continuous path known as the wire. We have pivot points and a solenoid. The pivot points should rest firmly against the solenoid, but they do not. One way to correct for this is to use the alligator clips that will supply power to the current balance. Simply clip them on the back of the pivot points, then press them down on the solenoid. The pivot points now rest firmly against the solenoid. The current balance should be placed on the pivot points with the wire inside the solenoid. If it is not level, you can weigh down the higher end by adding tape to the bottom. Be sure not to tweak the arms as they might break off. Once you have balanced the current balance, you can mark the horizontal position using an index card. This will help you easily return to horizontal later in your experiment. The power supply can be set to current limiting or voltage limiting modes. For voltage limiting, set the voltage to the maximum allowable by the circuit. Then you can vary the current. To set to current limiting, set the maximum allowable current for the circuit. Then vary the voltage. Once you have set up your current and voltage, you have to turn on the output with this button here. When connected to the current balance, don't leave the power on too long. The arms of the current balance will heat up and the solder joints will soften and break off.